Hello and welcome to our day one meta report for the Skolomance Academy expansion. It is still very early, but first impressions have been confirming people's prediction as to the extraordinary power level of this set. While there certainly seem to be some problematic cards which could lead to another round of quick nerfs, that high power level has also led to a very fresh meta. Essentially every deck is an entirely new archetype, with the exception of Tempo Warrior, and most of those new archetypes are not particularly similar to any old archetypes either. We have lots of exciting new decks to get into to in this video, so after we remind you to subscribe to the channel for plenty more Skolomance Academy content, let's begin. So far, the most dominant ladder deck of the expansion's first day has been a Kilfa Sunstrider Druid deck, which takes advantage of two new broken spells, Guardian Animals and Survival of the Fittest. Not only does this deck do some of the most absurdly powerful things we've ever seen out of a Hearthstone deck, using Kilfa to make massive boards as early as turn 4 or 5, but it is also surprisingly consistent due not only to overflow but also to the amount of cycle generated with Guardian Animals and Twilight Runner. The specific list we have chosen to feature was played by Taco Tastic, who went 24-5 with it on his path to High Legend. There have been a lot of different lists tried, but we are pretty confident that this one is the most optimized thus far. Due to Druid's early dominance, a new counter deck has made its way into the meta. While there have been some reasonably successful spell damage tempo mages, the counter deck we are referring to is a combo mage centered around Mozaki, Master Duelist. This deck uses traditional traditional stall tools like Frost Nova and Blizzard, and deck filtering cards like Sphere of Sapiens and Lorekeeper Polkelt, to survive to the late game where it uses Mozaki, Sorcerer's Apprentice, a bunch of cheap spells, and two copies of Arcane Missiles to kill your opponent from 30 or more life. While the deck is absolutely terrible against any sort of aggressive deck, it almost can't lose against most slower archetypes, and is the only deck discovered so far which is truly favored against Druid. This alone could make it an important part of the upcoming meta, especially in tournaments. The original list was created by Dead Draw HS, and that is the one we are showing you today, though this is definitely the sort of archetype which will undergo further refinement. There has been some experimentation done with Control Warrior, Pirate Warrior, and even some weird big warrior lists, but Tempo Warrior is still far and away the best warrior deck. The most powerful list has remained a pretty standard build of Egg Warrior, with the new cards Shield of Honor and Lord Barov around to supplement it. Tempo Warrior does have some problems against the new Druid archetypes, but it remains a menace to virtually every other deck on the ladder. A lot of people People were predicting aggressive builds of Tempo Rogue to be the top decks of the new meta, and while the oppressiveness of Druid has prevented that from becoming the reality, the archetype still has lots of potential. Not only has it been a passable ladder deck, but it has also been a very common choice as the third deck in the Druid plus Warrior tournament lineups being played in the first Masters Tour qualifiers of the new season. The list we are featuring here is just one of many attempts at building a refined list, and with all those lists being pretty similar, it is hard to tell whether there is one that is superior to all the rest. Demon Hunter has gone on a variety of different directions in terms of day one builds, but overall the class remains firmly an aggro class, and the differences in people's lists are mostly just about which top end package to include. We have seen lists that refill with Voracious Reader and Glide, lists that stick to Skull of Gul'dan but add Lorekeeper Polkelt to make their top end more consistent, and lists which fully pivot to a Soul Fragment Synergy Shell that supports Soul Shard Lapidary. The list we are featuring here is one of the Glide builds, since this player got rank 1 Legend with it, but the jury is still out as to which way the refined list will be built. Hunter has been one of the weakest classes throughout day one of Skolomance Academy. Highlander Hunter has been entirely absent from ladder, as it seems to have been replaced by faster and more powerful archetypes. The Hunter decks which have been popping up here and there have been a variety of face and aggro lists, like this aggro beast hunter from Death Star. These decks are not particularly high on the scale of power level, and have mostly survived because they are fast enough to be competitive with Druid, and they can also take advantage of other experimental day one lists. Face Hunter may be one of those new decks which doesn't stick around after lists start to be refined, but time will tell on that one. A lot of competitive players predicted that Priest wouldn't survive the expansion and remain a competitive deck, and while that could still prove true down the line, it actually had a pretty successful day one. The list that got the most attention was this Highlander Priest, which Paper Ninja 20 went 25 with to rank 2 Legend. Some players also had a bit of success with more traditional Galakrond Priests, and it is possible that the archetype will return to a 2-off list once it starts to undergo the refinement process. But for now, in an unsolved meta, the Highlander build looks quite strong, and it can even compete against Druid. Warlock wasn't the most popular class on the first day of the meta, but there were still several people who were successful with it, including RYE Viper playing this Soul Fragment Control Warlock. A few other players also succeeded with more aggressive Soul Fragment Warlocks, and there was even a bit of Quest Warlock hanging around. It is tough to say what Warlock's place in the meta looks like going forward, but one thing worth noting is that Flesh Giant has been one of the coolest new tools in the expansion, and seems very powerful in every Warlock archetype. Shaman doesn't seem much stronger than it did in the past, but a few 
players have done some experimentation with both Totem Shaman and Aggro Shaman. This Totem Shaman list doesn't seem great for ladder at the moment, but could be a useful tournament or counter deck at some point. The Paladins on day one have been mostly pure Paladins, like this list. Despite a slightly increased present from Paladin on ladder, as is the case with most new metas, our prediction is that it will remain a bottom two class alongside Shaman moving forward. That brings us to the end of our day one meta report for Skolomance Academy. What do you think of these decks that are doing well so far? Do you think any decks we didn't look at will rise to prominence in the coming days? Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all of our upcoming strategy game content.